They're off. All coming away to a good start. And welcome to a brand new edition of Mammoth Racing Today. I'm your host, Mike Kersey. Coming up, we'll talk with jockey Abel Castellano Jr. having a great meet fourth in the standings right now. Marcus Vitale and Bobby DeBona will tell us about what's happening in their barns. But right now, some spot plays for this weekend. Let's start off in race one. Number three, Key Doro from the Red Hot Markets Vitali Barn. He's 26% turf to dirt. This one stalks the leaders. Race three, number one, So Frank has good efforts posted for the last two starts. He's beaten better in Florida. And in race 11, the Red Cross Stakes, number six, Tea Time, could be a value play. Third start off the bench for trainer Michael Matz, a three time stakes winner. Coming up, trainer Bobby DeBona gives us the lowdown on his entries for the weekend on Monmouth Racing Today. Some days you just need to get away. <sighs> so get away at Monmouth Park. Bring Dad to Monmouth Park this Father's Day. Win sports tickets and enjoy our Father's Day beer garden. Vacation for a day at Monmouth Park. Welcome back to Monmouth Racing today and a big weekend coming up for trainer Bobby DeBona. A lot of success here at Monmouth over the years and you're going to start it off on Friday. Tell us what you have. Um, we're ready for a big weekend. Um, I open up Friday with a filly called Arissa and um, she'll run on the grass. She run big last time but kind of needed the race and a little trouble tripping stuff but I think we'll be in a really good spot to start on Friday. Then you have Lighthouse Sound, Goombe Dancer. Talk about those two horses. Both really nice. You know, they were both very impressive in their last races. Um, Lighthouse Sound ran into a clip tail, steady, stock, you name it, he had it. And he found a way and he went easy. So I got him well spotted um, this weekend. And I also run a horse called Money Game. I think it's going to run huge over the weekend. And uh, Goombe Dancer just went under wraps and drew away. So we're thinking he might be a little special right now. Let's uh, talk about uh, some of the horses that you have that are going to come out a little bit later on this season. Anybody in the barn that you're excited about? Well, we ran one. Um, I got a nice Malibu Moon Colt that could be any kind. Um, only run a couple of starts. and uh, I ran on Wednesday in Belmont, and we got pinned on the fence with Castellano. and uh, looked like we were just much the best. And I think we're clear sailing. You'll see him get the money next time. We'll wait here, 4th of July weekend. Coming up, we'll talk with jockey Abel Castellano Jr. right here on Mammoth Racing Today. Sunday, July 5th will no doubt be one of the biggest days of the season at Mammoth Park. In addition to the Grade 1 United Nations and the Red, White & Blue Party, all fans in attendance will receive a commemorative Mammoth Park Beach tote. So plan your holiday festivities for some other time because Sunday, July 5th, is a day you have to be at beautiful Mammoth Park. We're back on Mammoth Racing today. Mike Kersey along with jockey Abel Castellano Jr., fourth in the standings right now, having a great meet, hitting an 18% overall. Abel, good to have you on the show. How's it going so far? Well, Mike, thank you very much. I mean, yes, um, so far everything is working out good. And, I mean, I'm very happy to be here in Jersey. And Momo Race Track, I mean, it's, it's a wonderful place for summertime. Great trainers, great horses, great jockeys. I mean, so far we good, we, we good spot, so great spot. Well, considering you're fourth in the standings and battling for second and third with McCarthy and Centeno and Paco Lopez, you're getting some good mounts. I mean, this is a great jockey colony. So you're battling head-to-head -head every race. Yes. Um, uh, thanks, God, that I have a great opportunity. The trainers, they give me great opportunity. Um, and I'll be, I'll, be, I'll be blessed to, I mean, ride it for those people and great trainers and get a good opportunity. Just get the right horse and... And, I mean, everything's working working out good. Take us back to the beginning of your career. You started in Venezuela? Yeah, I started in 1999 in Venezuela, back home. And after that, I moved in 2000 to uh, Florida. 
in Florida, that's when I really started my career. I said I went to Churchill Down, Kinelan, and all those places. And I learned a lot. I was running with a lot of great riders like Jerry Bailey, Pac Day, Chen Seller. Um, so I learned a lot from those guys. But you got feedback from them as you were growing up in the business? Yes, I mean, that, uh, that was, I mean, that was a blast, uh, I think a blast, a blast time because uh, I rode with those big guys and they give me feedback and plus they give me a lot of um, advice, man. When I see so when they see me something wrong, they always trying to uh, uh, tell me something, hey, Chuck, you got to do this, you got to do that. So I'm, I'm very blessed to have uh, rode with those guys over there. One of your biggest wins was aboard Bellamy Road in the Ohio Derby. Tell us about that. Well, I had a great opportunity and back then. Uh, Mike Dickinson, he was training the horse. And Mike Dickinson, he asked me to ride a horse in Delaware. I broke his maiden. And I said, I said hey, well, we're going to go to the next step. We go, let's go to grade three, uh, Ohio Derby. And you want to go? I said, yeah, absolutely. That's a nice horse. And absolutely, we won the race. And, I, I mean, we were so happy. And that was a great moment. No question, and more great moments to come here at Monmouth. Looking at the stats, I noticed that you're 18% in sprints, 18% in routes, so, you know, we can't play against you in either one of these types of races. Uh, do you ride them differently? How do you, how do you play it? How do you, how do you read it when, when you know you're listed on a horse? Well, um, I got, so far I got, I've, been, I've been blessed and been lucky to ride a, a good sprint horse and good um, long, go long horses. I mean, I mean, I've I been, I've been, I've been working a lot, and I've been trying to make things right. Mm -hmm. So, in, in my engine, he's been doing great job. Um, John Shimara, the is my engine this year, working with me. I'm very happy working with my engine. My engine is, is being part of this this percentage because he's trying to uh, find me the right horses. And you're doing well on the turf course here. Is there a particular way to ride on the turf, or it depends on the horse you have, Abel? Uh, a little combination of both, I would say. Um, you need to have, uh, of course, the right horse, uh, but you also need to have, your, uh, you need to try to find uh, the best spot and try to ride the best race in the turf. So it's a little combination of both, I would say. Is there one thing that you still want to do in this business? Um, keep riding. <laughs> keep riding. That's uh, one thing that I love and, and I've been doing since it's 99. So, I mean, I, I'm very happy being joking. I don't see myself in doing something. <laughs> Continue success and thanks for joining us. Thank you very much, Mike. Yeah. I appreciate it. Abel Castellano, Jr. on Mammoth Racing today. More to come. Some days you just need to get away. <sighs> so get away at Mammoth Park. Bring Dad to Monmouth Park this Father's Day. Win sports tickets and enjoy our Father's Day beer garden. Vacation for a day at Monmouth Park. Here on Monmouth Racing today, Mike Kersey along with Marcus Vitale off to another good start at the meet after a good winter. How's the barn right now? Everything's going good right now. We're um, gearing up. Uh, we're going to be sending some horses over to Saratoga this year and... Uh, you know, we've got a good lineup here at Monmouth. We hope for uh, continuation, I should say, of what's going on right now. The bond's running good, the horses are running good, and um, everybody's happy when that happens. Uh, no question about it. How about uh, Orlando Boca Chica, what he brings to the table for you? He's your go-to rider. Oh, he's definitely my go-to rider. He, he started this venture with me from Boston uh, when we first uh, went down to uh, Gulfstream. Um, you know, he's been uh, instrumental in... Uh, you know, having you know, always, always when you have your go-to rider, it definitely brings a lot to the table. Um, he's always in your corner. All right, Marcus, let's talk about uh, the top horse in your barn. You still feel Lochte, is it? You know, Lochte's always going to be the top horse in my barn. Uh, my first grade one winner. You know, don't forget Bluegrass Singer. Right. You know, Valid. We got some. We got some nice upcoming two-year-olds. Um, you know, the rest of my claiming stock is pretty healthy. Uh, you know, it, 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 the barn's really shaping up. Uh, Better than expected, actually. Um, you know, we're turning a lot of horses over. And, uh, you know, we're doing the right thing. I got, you know, very fortunate. I have great clients. Um, you know, I have a lot of great fortune. And, uh, you know, I respect everything in this business. How about the two-year-olds? Uh, who do you like? you have a name for one or two that we can look for? Well, I, I got one. I think his name will be Golden Panther. It's a, a kitten joy out of the Mother Russia mare. I mean, uh, phenomenal. Uh, Let's, let's let's say a prairie stays healthy and everything goes right. Uh, we'll be hearing from him. I mean, I got a I got a bunch of ghost sappers and lemon drop kid, and I got a I got a you know I'm very fortunate to uh, 
be hooked up with some great connections and uh, I, I get the opportunity to um, shine. Some days you just need to get away. So get away at Monmouth Park. Celebrate the red, white, and blue Sunday, July 5th. Great food, games, live music, a beach tote giveaway, and so much more. Vacation for a day at Monmouth Park. And that'll put a wrap on this week's edition of Monmouth Racing Today. We hope to see you at the races.